Bossables. Hey, we're gonna have a look at something a little bit interesting today. This is called a Heli Ball. It's a little toy that we bought from Kmart for $10. And all it does is it flies around and you control it with your hand. It's pretty sweet. Here's how it works. Okay, so without going into too much about how it works yet, it has an on off switch on the bottom here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flick that on now. There. So you can see it's flashing. So what actually happens is, once you hit, there's a button on this, it's not a remote, but I'll come back to that unit in a minute. There's a button on it, we press it, the rotors engage, and it'll actually fly up and down. It'll come down until it encounters something below it. Your hand, your foot, head, floor, and then once it detects that there's something below it, it goes back up again. What it also has is a start stop, start stop button just there. So this doesn't control the flight, it sort of activates the sensing unit in it. So you hit start and the rotors go. Again, you control it with your hand, um, it also you can shut it off from this thing as well. So it does have a radio beam. Now what's, or why do you need this remote, why can't you just go start stop? This has little kill switches in it, so if it flies off and it runs into something... Once it encounters enough resistance, the rotors turn off. Um, if you can't reach it, like if it falls to the ground, if you can't reach it, you can actually press this button, so maybe it's flown up onto uh, like a second story balcony, you can press this button and it'll take off again and you've got a chance of getting it back. Here's how I think it works. You've got what I think is an infrared emitter just here and on this side is an infrared receiver. So when you put your hand or a solid object underneath it, it breaks the beam, reflects the light back and tells the engines to engage. Toolkit, whatever we need, let's take it apart and see actually how it works. Now it's held together by the world's smallest screws and I don't have world's smallest screwdriver. So I'm going to try and very delicately, it's only cheap plastic, try and cut it around it without cutting anything essential inside it, pull it apart that way. Now which way do we go is the question to ask. There are so many choices that it's hard not to look back. What is real and what is fake And the risk we have to take Will we love what is throwing So it does work that way. So basically your hand creates a reflective capacity for that beam. It comes back. Um, and when you take the hand away, basically what we're doing is removing the reflective nature of the beam and we're telling the device to stop spinning the rotor. So you know when you walk in through a shop and sometimes you get that beep? That's the same idea. So it's sending an electronic beam, so an infrared beam across the doorway. Your body breaks that beam, and then which triggers that beeping noise. This works on a very similar principle, except the beam is being fired out of the device. It is being reflected from your hand back to the device. When it receives the signal, engine turns on and it activates. When your hand goes away and breaks the beam, it deactivates. That's really clever. I didn't mention this before. This was 10 bucks from Kmart. Now you can't get dinner from a lot of places for that much and it's got this much technology in it. That blows my mind that we're at that point now. Okay, moment of truth. Tiny little on off, I don't know if you can see that. That little, that's the on off switch. Just, just there. So, we've got power. That's gonna hang, in fact, I'm just gonna loop that back on so that it doesn't Pull away. Yes! Look at it! Oh, that's cool! So the ball casing balances all the engine, which is what this mounting bit on the side's here for. Oh, look! Whew, that gets hot really fast. 
Oh, so what happened on my fingers against the gears, and it was sitting there just grinding against my finger. That's really cool. So you can see there, it's literally, it's one printed circuit board, the battery, a light emitting diode white, a light emitting diode red, charging point, two sensors, a tiny millennium. Balancing bit on top. Where were these when I was a kid? This is awesome. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, I'm gonna, we'll be probably doing, oh, I just broke it. Oh, no. <laughs> hope you enjoyed seeing how that worked. We're gonna do start working our way up to a bigger, a couple of bigger things. A few people have asked me, can I do a dissection of my skateboard? That I can do because I have pulled it apart before and I've upgraded it. So hopefully that might be next on our list. Anyway, have a great weekend.